Welcome to Grow Box Gardening. Let me show you how to set it up. Your grow box will come to you like this. It has the nutrient patch inside, has the water reservoir, and the top, which holds the soil. And if you'll see these little things on the end here, these little tabs, first thing you want to do is push those out a little bit, just loosen them up some, and take off the little pins that are attached to them. Then, when you want to put your box together, start it on an angle. This side together, snap it together. Then line it up with the other side and do the same thing. There you go, it's all lined up. Now what you want to do next is push these little tabs down until they click into their lock. And there you have it, ready to put the dirt in. Now that we have our grow box put together, let's put some soil in it. As you can see, there's two large holes here. Soil goes down in there and on top. It fills it up. Don't worry about a little soil going in there. It won't matter. And let me add, we're using potting mix, not potting soil, potting mix. This is light, spongy, it works well. So I'm just gonna add, dump a little in here and put it in those holes. Fill those up, the two big holes. And then just start, push it down a little bit and start filling the planter. All the way up. There you go, that's good. We've got our grow box filled with potting mix. We put the water in here, we got the mix all the way up to the top. And I'm gonna add a little dolomite. And what this does, it sweetens up the pH of the soil. It raises the pH, makes it easier for plants to take up nutrients. It helps with blossom end rot, and it just makes your plants happier. I'm gonna water it in a little bit. And we're ready for the nutrient patch. Now what this is, is a cover that protects the soil and these two patches are fertilizer. And what happens when they lay in the middle of the, of the soil, the plants will go to the fertilizer. So this is different from any other gardening where you put the fertilizer on the plants. Here, we put the fertilizer in a line, like a buffet line, and they go take it when they want it. This is a much better system. So what I'm gonna do is make a little furrow down the top, and I'm just gonna lay this cover right on top of it. And these bags will disintegrate and deposit the fertilizer in a stripe right down the middle. That's what we want. I'm gonna add a little water to that. As you can see, these bags are falling apart and we have the fertilizer in a stripe right down the center. The plants will be on the outside. The roots will go towards the fertilizer stripe and they'll feed when they want to as much as they want to. The fertilizer in a stripe right down the center. It's covered. We're ready to plant. Let's plant some tomatoes. We have our potting mix in the grow box. The nutrient patch is on top with the fertilizer in a stripe right down the middle. We have water in here. We're ready to plant. So I'm gonna cut a slot out here. These plants will grow four to five feet tall. They need a lot of air, they need a lot of sunlight. So that's why we only put two in there. You can put four tomato plants in there, but you wouldn't get any more tomatoes. These are the right size plants, by the way. This is a good size, about this eight inches. Open up the roots. Gonna set the plant just like you do in the ground. Same thing on the other side. There, it's done. All the fertilizer is already in there. You don't have to add any more fertilizer for these plants for their entire cycle. Okay, last time we planted tomatoes, we only put two tomato plants in a grow box because they get big, they're vines, and they'll crowd everything out. But if we're gonna plant smaller plants, we can put more in there. Always use a fresh nutrient patch every time you replant. It's got the fertilizer down the middle. Again, this is enough fertilizer for even all these plants. So what I have here is Q2 
cubanelle peppers, they look good. And some pak choy, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put them in there. When you plant different types of plants in the same planter, go for ones that are gonna grow at about the same speed so they don't choke each other out. And you can put a lot of plants in there, don't? Sometimes you can put 10 corn seeds in there if you want, you'd be amazed. I already pre-cut the holes, so they're going right in where I, where I put them. Okay, going for some peppers. There you go, peppers, bok choy, all the fertilizers in there. The only thing you have to do is add water in there.